Look at that! Okay, so it's a triple layer. It's a triple layer firework. That is so cool looking. Look at how... That's beautiful. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and we are doing the weekend event. It has been a while since we've been back to No Man's Sky, so let's check out the weekend event. Now, if you didn't know, it happens every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. For me, it depends on which time zone you're in, but for me, it starts about Friday afternoon if the servers are working, and if you want to check, just to make sure, Number one, look for the cube on top of the Nexus right there. You see that bouncing turquoise cube? That means the weekend event is active. And if you're having trouble with it, go over to your discovery tab right here. And down at the bottom left-hand side, it says online discovery services active. That means the No Man's Sky servers are working, well, kind of working. They're at least working for the discovery services. And that means you'll also be able to, to, to do the weekend event if this is not online that means that you're not connecting to the servers and therefore it won't let you do the weekend event so always keep that in mind that that could be on their end it could be on your end if you're not connected to the internet that will be turned off so you'll see it'll turn red and it'll say online discovery services disconnected anyway or it could be on the no man's sky server end oh we're at 33 hours left eliminate the hazardous flora We'll get an ion battery, we'll get 10 of them, and 1,200 Quicksilver. That's why we're here. We're almost over... Over, we're, oh, we're good. We will be over 10,000 Quicksilver, so I can't wait to do that. So let's do that. And oh, as always, I'm going to walk a little bit slower than usual, because sometimes they tell you to go and talk to a fellow traveler on the Space Anomaly. I... You know, they haven't done it in a long time, but you never know. It might happen this time. But it should give me a timer if it's not going to happen. Or they'll tell me to, to go over there and talk to somebody. Come on. Come on. Nothing. Let's go over my log, make sure I have that one highlighted. Okay, I have that one highlighted. Yep, there it goes. Okay, we have one. Oh, man. That timer was waiting. Holy cow. Why would they wait for that long? Jeez, I know that Helios wants to give me an emergency broadcast receiver, but maybe don't wait my timer out. Holy cow. But yeah, usually they give you about a minute and a half, 90 seconds to get the heck out of there. It's not that, it's not that hard. I mean, it should be easy enough to get out. All right, now we're going to wait for them to mark a uh, planet for us. I'm assuming it's the one in the front of us because we have a base right there. We have a couple bases. But let's see. Is it this one? No, it's not that one. What? It's that planet way over there. Okay. Oh, big nanite mine. So we can go over there and get some nanites too. Now remember, whenever someone makes a farm, usually you can just pick whatever you need and they will just reload. You're like, it'll grow. It takes time to grow. Remember that. So if you make a, like, a, let's say a, a, a farm for for frost wart because you're going to make some glass or whatever it will take about four hours for all your plants to grow back it is different depending on which plant you use oh man we're going way over the wrong side now i always you want to go over to where they mark because there's going to be a grave site over here so we're going to need to go to this direction but remember once you land you're going to have to pull out your scanner and scan your uh your sweeper i should say and scan for the location of the uh, the grave site. It should be down in like a, a little bit of a a crater. Let's see. Up, oh, yeah, we're right here, 200 feet away. So let's do it. 245, technically. 880. There it is. Oh wait. Oh, it's right in front of me. <laughs> I don't know why we're scanning it. I'm literally looking right at it. All right, thank you. The atmosphere here, but the strangling vines, very little ammunition. The fallen traveler's log seems to mention the floral infestation, but holds no further clues. I will need to scout to locate the hazardous flora. So now we have to go find the uh, all the plants that can attack you, basically. Hazardous flora. It comes up as a uh, exclamation point, as you can see. But there's gonna be multiples around. 
It'll mark the... I think it's supposed to ideally mark the closest one to you, but sometimes it's not so close. Let's melt that thing. All right, got it. Too weak. Holy mackerel. So, so we know it's in this direction. And I mean, you don't have to go where it marks. It, it'll take any hazardous flora. So if you see something, go over there and take it out. But it tries to help you out by marking the one that it thinks is closest. It doesn't always work that way. Sometimes it'll mark one that's way too far away. And you're like, okay, really? There's a plant like two feet away from me, but you didn't mark that one. You marked the one that is like a mile away. There we go. See, it's actually working pretty good, actually. So, let's just go with the flow on this one. Oh, there's two of them here. I like it. Boom and boom. Got you. Let's see. Oh, there's another one right over here. Oh, it's a whipping one. Got you. There's another one over there. We have to do 13 plants. You see the bottom right-hand corner of the screen? That is how many you need to do. Now, remember, look at it. It's trying to mark the one way over here. It's trying to mark that one. I'm going to take this one out, though. And it's going to count for me because I'm that good. It'll count any hazardous flora, so you're good. Hey, I was way far away. That doesn't count. Come on. Yeah, see? We're at 7 out of 13. We're doing pretty good. Oh, look at these two of them over here. Got you and got you. Oh, and there's another one over here. And we have a storm coming in. That's going to be fun. I hate these Venus flytrap looking ones. Because they always catch me. I'm not paying attention. I'll, I'm always looking for, like, the exploders or the whipping ones. But, man, the Venus flytrap ones, they'll get you every time. Um... I guess it's up here. Up oh, there is one. I got you. Don't need that. We need one more plant. Over here. There is one. Get it? I can't even see what's going on here. Get it? Boom! Done, son! Alright, that was easy enough. So, just taking out the uh, hazardous plants. I like it. Oh, let's get over here. Oh, you look at these big piles of oxygen. I love it. Well, I will meet you guys back in the anomaly once we get there, because now we have to just... Oh, wait, wait. What? Oh, now yeah, we have to return to the anomaly. Okay, so I'll meet you guys back in the anomaly. Later. And we are back. Let me load that in. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. And, ooh, look at that. We have one uh, Quicksilver mission ready to go. And I know that the uh, No Man's Sky servers have been acting up, like, acting really badly the past couple of weeks. And so I haven't done anything for a week, but I only have one mission there. I think the servers are just, you know, acting bad, so... Always, always, always check in, but also don't be upset because, I mean, you can't you can't go over there and force the servers to work. So it is what it is. I'm hoping that because they're working on the servers, like maybe they're putting out an update that is multiplayer. Because they're doing that, they're working on the servers, therefore that's why they're going down, but I have no idea. No idea at all. That's just a guess. That's just a guess on my part. Let's see what we got for exotic items. Oh, we yeah, we can buy the uh, triple burst fireworks. Let's buy a few of these. Buy ten of them. That's six hundred. Okay, we got twelve hundred out of the quicksilver, so we'll use six hundred for that. Oh, you know we need to go light off these fireworks now. Oh, dude. Let's go back to my planet. I'm gonna go back to my home planet. We are gonna light some fireworks off. Twenty minutes later. Well, here we are on my home planet, and it is nighttime. So let's set this off. So. If you didn't know how to use the fireworks, you press down on your D-pad, go all, oh, go up on your D-pad, sorry, go to your structure menu, your building menu, go to your decorations, man, I haven't played this in a while, and you have literally a firework, uh, tab right here, and so we have our triple burst firework right here, let's see what this baby looks like, boom, 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 
Boom. Let's look up and see. Look at that. Okay, so it's a triple layer. It's a triple layer firework. That is so cool looking. Look at that. That's beautiful. That is awesome. And you can put a whole bunch down there and you can buy a ton of them. And just if you and your buddies have it, you could just light up a ton of fireworks. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button and I will see you guys next time.